Hello, I'm Kelly Linden, your Chief Executive, and it is my privilege to welcome you to the 2020 Video Service Award Tribute. Normally we'd be together. We'd be together in fellowship, in connecting and thanking each of you for the extraordinary work you've done over the years. This year, of course, it's different, and we would never have imagined how our world would change in early 2020. These last seven months have been extraordinary. I have been so proud to see each of you and the work that you've done to step up and step in to provide the needs for our COVID patients, to provide the healthcare needs for all of our community. You have been there for them and I'm thankful for that. As we celebrate you today, we have 285 individuals who we are honoring with their service award. Awards from five years to 45 years. Your exceptional care and support of this ministry have been extraordinary. We thank you for all that you do to serve the community. We thank you for serving each other and supporting your fellow colleagues. You have been there for each other. You have been there for our physicians and providers, and you have been there for our patients and their families. Thank you for that. As is our tradition, we always start our service awards with a reflection, and it is my privilege to introduce Juliet Marsh, our Chief Mission Integration Officer. Thank you, Kelly. I'm Juliet, our Chief for Mission Integration, and it's my great honor to be able to reflect today as we celebrate the many years of service here with us. For our reflection, I wanted to call out a particular line in the blessing card that you all received recently with your new badges. It's the last line that refers to those entrusted to our care. It's actually my favorite phrase in the law of the church, and it's a way that we describe leadership. That leadership is not about power and control. It's not about lording over others. It's about being willing to see all those entrusted to our care. The person that most embodies this for me is actually Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph in scripture is not biologically related to Mary and not biologically related to Jesus. And yet this is family and this is holy. Saint Joseph is willing to see those that God needs to entrust to him and goes about the work to protect and care for them. Beyond the limitations of biology, we have many people who have been entrusted to us. And so today we honor and celebrate. Over the years, we have had one year of service, five years of service, all the way to 40 or 45. We have had many, many people entrusted to our care. And that's part of what we celebrate in you today. And so it is my great pleasure to call us to prayer to be willing to be a people who remember, to be people who are willing to see. And so we pray. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks for the many blessings of this day. And we lay before you its challenges. We ask, that you free our minds and our hearts from all that distracts us so that we might be fully present to this moment, to honor our call to serve and our willingness to continue to see all those entrusted to our care. And we pray in your holy name, amen. Juliet, thank you for that beautiful reflection. As we celebrate this wonderful occasion, it is my honor to introduce a video tribute to our 40 and 45 year recipients. An amazing amount of service to this ministry and to this community. Thank you to each of you.
We have a lot of uh, longevity here at St. Joe's. People enjoy working here. My first is Karen Marlin. She's the assistant nurse manager on short stay, and she's been here 45 years, and she actually started here as a new grad. So she's been here, you know, since 74, and she has enjoyed working at St. Joe's. It's home to her. Well, my mom was a registered nurse here on labor and delivery for 30 years, and uh, I just, from as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a nurse. I adored my mom. She passed away about three years ago. And uh, my daughter will have her fourth year here. She's a registered nurse on the orthopedic unit. My two children were born here, and it was just so fun. I was just so proud that my mom was here and worked here. And, and then like, wow, 40 some years later, my daughter started here. And it's, uh, it's, it's great, it's in her blood. Uh, Frances is our part-time nurse here. Uh, she started in 1979 as a student. While here, she also earned her bachelor's degree, her master's degree, and her doctorate degree. She's considered an expert on the NCLEX. For the boards that nurses take, it's called the NCLEX in order to get your license. And she has been on that board and has submitted questions to that exam. Um, nursing education has changed a lot over the years. So by having these nurses that have the longevity, they are mentors. They can help teach, orient um, the new staff to the role of a professional nurse. When I came here as a nursing student back in 79, I fell in love with the hospital. It just um, had a warmth and compassion that the other facilities we had gone to didn't have. Currently, I work on short stay. We are like a family on that unit. Um, we celebrate Christmas. I don't know what we're going to do this year, but we celebrate Christmas together. And um, we've always celebrated birthdays and other holidays too. And, it, and it's, you get to know them outside of this facility. And we see the same patients sometimes and we get to know them as well. I've had patients come and say, oh, you were my nurse last time. And I'll go, is that a good thing? And they'll, yes, it's a good thing, you know, because they remember us. Um, we're established in the community. They know that we're here and we're trusted. What I love about Providence is the care that we've given our patients, um, the sisters that have been around to support us emotionally and our patients. Um, in fact, when my father-in-law was here as a patient a number of times, um, they would always come and visit him. Um, one of them even donated blood for him when he needed blood um, and sat with me on his last hours. Um, so that is just special here. So I started here September 29, 1979. I've been in Shirsev for about 35 years, but overall St. Joseph is 41 years this year. It's just like a family. Our unit is just, I think it's just short it was so unique. And I always look forward to come to work also, because I know um, people that I work with, they're just enjoyable. It's an enjoyable group. We just help one another. Whoever, whoever needs help, you don't have to ask. They're always there to help you. So the teamwork is excellent. Flora is a great fit with the short stay team. As you said, she's been here 40 years and she has uh, done magnificent. Uh, her patients love her. She's gotten numerous thank yous and she is willing to do whatever is needed to be done. She is a true member of the team. So Rita and Aroxy, I would say, are the heart and soul of the unit, truly. As a new leader, I've been with Providence for about three years at this point, being able to get the full history of my unit is invaluable. Um, I ask Rita the whys, and she can tell me back 
30 years. She's been on the unit for 30 years and then Roxy as well. So they know all the history on the dogs, all the history on the physicians. They've delivered my caregiver's babies. And I, I believe our educator, I think Roxy delivered some of her adult children. So just being able to get that rich history, you cannot underestimate the value of that. And just the credit that comes with it with the physicians and leadership in the hospital is just amazing. We are definitely a family in labor and delivery. We do some really intimate things. We deliver babies. We see life come into the world. We see you know, life go out of the world, unfortunately, and we really band together. But just having um, Rita and Aroxy, the rest of the team, they know that they can go to Rita for anything as the assistant nurse manager. They know that she is the lifeblood of the unit. Aroxy is one of our main charge nurses, and she, there's nothing that she can't do. There's no amount of energy she doesn't have. They are both so funny, so loving, um, incredible. We definitely have to make it a fun environment sometimes to get by because we're busy. We get really busy and we see a lot of things, but um, we support each other. And I would say that they are definitely the lifebloods of the unit, both of them together. When I started, I was only 19. I was an LVN at that time and young, innocent, and uh, ready to take the world on. Uh, when I first started, I was on a woman's unit, basically. Uh, and that was for approximately four years. At that time, uh, I received my RN and uh, was the assistant nurse manager of that unit. So then as short stay came forward, uh, a lot of the procedures went to short stay. So we would kind of close our units. And so finally they said, you know what? That unit is now going towards short stay or procedures, day procedures. So you have a choice of going to either surgery or labor and delivery. I picked labor and delivery. I've been there 30 years. You learn something new every day. And also I get a prize every day. You deliver a baby, that's like the best feeling. And let's face it. You don't have to go home with that baby. You get to go home and sleep. Mama gets to stay there and take care of the baby. Other than the love and joy that you see people actually have when they deliver their baby, of course there's sad times, but we all band together and support each other in that. But I would say it, it's fun being in that moment with the family. You know, you get to kind of be that secretive person that got to find out what the baby was first before anybody else. And it's all in a good place. It's truly a nice place to work. Um, excitement is you never know who will come from the door. So it's a surprise things. And safety, I feel um, I'm not alone there. When my patient is stressed somehow, uh, nurses jump to my room without even me calling them. So safety is the best um, of my unit. And of course, helping each other too. One of the memories was, uh, until now I think about it and I laugh about it, it was my patient who was uh, breech. And by the time we rolled her to OR, she became vertex. The way the tummy shape happened, and we did vaginal delivery, and that was a really nice thing to do. And another time, um, God, it was another time, deceleration of baby's heartbeat, and I was rolling the bed by myself, and I was shifting, but I didn't hit any, any, any wall, anything. So by the time we got to OR, um, I was going to deliver the baby, and doctor got there, and took the legs out. The, the body was almost out as she took the legs out. That was, I mean, that was the best uh, healthy baby, healthy baby. The goal is healthy baby, healthy mother, yes. Francisco is an experienced caregiver, uh, very well liked, um, knows his job, functions, his routine, does a good job um, with the team and helping the department out. Uh, 40 years is a long time. 
um, to give that type of dedication, it says a lot for the people who's looking up at them, for their knowledge, um, as well as their experience. Oh, well, I start in um, January 1st, the 1979. I start in Pavilion, Castle Street. And uh, the, the North Tower is not even there yet. There was parking lot. And North East, forget it. They don't exist. When I like my job and I like the place and I start for that long. And I still here. And I still the same. I like it. Y sigo aquí todavía. Me falta un año para retirarme, pero tal vez siga un poco más. Pues que me siento agradecido de trabajar aquí. Jose, um, again, an experienced caregiver. He works in our surgery suites. I uh, can tell you about every area throughout our, my department. Um, and just, you know, he goes above and beyond um, helping the department out as well. Uh, my name is Jose Luis Velasquez. I got uh, 42 years working right here in the hospital. I'm very happy with the hospital because we got good benefits and good salary. I work in the surgery. I clean the all rooms, surgery, and clean the equipment, everything right there in the St. Joseph's uh, is a good institution. It's a good hospital. Uh, you know, that's the reason I'm working for 42 years right here, you know, a long time. Uh, because right here is a good place for work for everybody. That's the reason I stay right here. When you go home and you know you help some needy people, you know, sick people, when they hold your hand and look at your eyes and say, thank you, makes you feel good. I'm always saying that I, I am blessed. I am blessed to work here. It's our job to go and walk them to the bathroom or up on the chair and so forth. And you develop uh, muscles too. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Carmen, I've worked with her for over 25 years. So I've known her family as well and she's been like a family to me too. So um, she's very experienced and very calm and just very good with patients. She's very committed and devoted. A lot of good comments are coming from a feedback from patients who she took care of for years. So. Um, I could say her commitment to our mission, um, commitment to Providence as being her second family and second home. Um, I can tell that she's still committed for more, more years to come. And now we welcome our 35 and 30 year caregivers. There's 27 of you. That's 850 years of service. Thank you and congratulations. Next, we recognize the caregivers with 25 and 20 years of service. There are 55 of you, and collectively, you have 1,210 years of service. Thank you for answering your call at Providence St. Joseph Medical Center. You truly inspire me every single day. Congratulations.
Next, we recognize caregivers with 10 and 15 years of service. There are 104 of you with a combined number of 1,270 years of service. Great job and congratulations. It is my pleasure to recognize our 85 caregivers who have given so much of their time in their five years of service. Collectively, you have contributed 425 years of service. And we are truly grateful for the ways that you have embraced our mission and our vision and our values, particularly in the ways that you continue to know, care for, and ease the way for our patients and for one another. Thank you. It has been my privilege to be a part of this video tribute to honor each of you for your service awards. From five years to 45 years, 285 of you have met that milestone. Thank you for all that you've done to support and serve this ministry and our community. I'd also like to thank all the rest of you who came together to celebrate your colleagues. This is an exceptional time, an extraordinary time, and I'm so thankful we could honor each and every one of them. I'd also like to thank the team who came together to put this video tribute together to support our caregivers. You have all done exceptional work this year and I'm thankful for that and for all that you do to serve our community, for being a part of our 76 year history and legacy. I look forward to where we are going in 2021 and the work that we will do together to fulfill the community need for the healthcare services that they so deserve. Thank you for being a part of that Thank you for you, how you support each other. I wish you all the very best.
I would say dedication and compassion. Commitment. Loving. Loving. Helping my patients. They make you feel uh, at home. It was like second home for me. It's a gift. I would say our unit is truly home. I love my unit and I love people I work with. Thanks for welcoming me in the doors and making me feel like I'm a part of an organization that has an impact.